Hello guys. This time I'm going to review this Helco Helco Work Helco Werk um, Timber Sport Training X. This is supposed to be a training X for the Timber Sports, like you know, um, cheaper um, competition X that is used only for training, not not for any type of competition. Um, this one. The, um, the X head itself weighs 1.8 kilograms, that's um, 4 pounds. The total length of this one is 80 centimeters. Well, it's not 80 centimeters, it's like 75, 76 because I actually um, had shortened the handle just a bit. I'm a I'm a short guy, so I prefer the shorter handles. Also, I polished half of the bit on both sides so that it doesn't stick to the wood um, like, a, like a new one would. Also, sharpen it. It is very sharp. Okay, um, the X head itself is made of C C45 um, carbon steel. It's selectively heat treated. The handle is made of um, hickory wood. It's made in Switzerland. The X head is forged in Germany. The wood grain is not perfect, but it's really good. And also, what I would like to point out is that um, the handle itself weighs. 700 grams that's like a pound and a half only the wooden handle I mean it it has a tight grain it also is really really hard also it compensates for for the heavy X head it's it's really nice to swing um, I hope I won't get tired too quickly chopping with it but it's really the handle is really comfortable I mean it's it is so fine it's like glass smooth I mean it's just perfect all right let, let's get to the chopping This is slippery. Wow, did you see how deep it goes? Wow, this thing is wobbly. I'll not continue chopping like this, alright? I might hurt myself. I'll try to finish the cut from this spot. Chopping from this angle that sucks. I gotta admit, you can get tired chopping with it. I mean, it's it's as heavy 
as a small splitting mill. Also, when you use a splitting mill, you just chop it like this. And you use quite much less strength than chopping from, from an angle. Maybe I'll try to move it a little bit so I can get a... So I can get a better spot. I mean, I would like to chop it like in this spot, between this knot and this knot. I don't want to be chopping from this. Okay, that's not. Well, I got stung by this. Alright, never mind. Now, the really heavy chopping begins. It's still too wobbly for me to stand on it. So I'll, have, so I'll have to do it the other way. Wow. This bites really deep. I'm pretty amazed with the chopping capabilities of this axe. I may need to work out on my cardio a little bit, it seems. I'm not guessing out. But I got just a little bit tired. Alright, let's finish this. Finally did it. Even though this axe is on the heavy side, chopping with this thing, this is pure pleasure. I mean, it's fun. I could cut out a knot with just one strike. By mistake, I hit the handle onto the wood and there's just not a scratch on it. I mean, this hickory handle is so much tougher than this wood. It's no match for it. This is just, this is just pure fun.
very uncomfortable chopping in this position but I don't have any other choice so it is what it is It's so hot today. Chopping with this heavy axe is tiring, but also it gives you a lot of pleasure. I mean, this axe is a really good chopper. I was thinking about bucking this log also, but I'm too tired for this. How does this axe deal with chopping wood? You just basically saw. It's a great chopper. The price is quite reasonable. It costs around 50 euro in Germany. Around 110 dollars in the US. Also, when you order this axe, um, on an American site, you will get a handcrafted, really nice um, stitched leather sheath. Whereas, if you order it directly from, from Helco, you will get a cheap, cheap ass X cover. I'll show you it in a moment. This is how it looks originally. It doesn't even have a weld inside, it just, it is just riveted with five, well, four um, very weak ri rivets. I had to cut out the weld and then, I, and then I had to punch some holes and sew it together. Oh, I forgot. Originally it is sewed, but, but it's done very weakly. I mean, mine stitching was already half gone when I got this cover. Yeah, but I, but I won't blame it for them. I mean, the axe is in perfect condition. I mean, for professionals that use those type of axes, they can order a very nice leather sheath from some le leather sheath maker, basically some friends, or they can even do it by themselves. So it's not a really big deal. It's not a deal for me. Right? Also, I'll sew my, my own sheath for this axe. Also, there was some light rust spots on the axe because I cut on some grapevine with it and I forgot to clean it out. After the chopping, all the rust spots are gone. So, so the rust layer was so thin that actually would manage to, to scrub it off. Overall, this axe is a great chopper. It has a reasonable price. It's also beautiful. Originally, it came, it, it, it comes thin, but it's dull. So I spent like one minute on a one by thirty belt sander to refine the edge to make it razor sharp. Also, after the chopping. It's still as sharp as it was before, so the heat treating on this one is great. It's, it's just perfect, in my opinion. This is how the wedge, the wedge looks like 
it has a small hole right here um, it's because I use the old wedge I actually managed to, to screw some wood screws into the wedge pull it off, shorten the handle um, make a cut right in the middle of the haft and then I pound back the old wedge um, dropping some wood glue um, inside um, just before hanging the axe so that after the, the glue evaporates and basically glues the wood together there is no chance the wedge would, would pop out and there is no need for using um, metal wedges like round wedges round wedges or flat wedges there's no need for it if you use glue to secure the, the wooden wedge alright so this is it thank you for watching my video I'll appreciate all of you guys subscribing and sharing my video this is the end